Good morning, guys. It is Sunday. It is quarantine day, like 48 million years. I, I've gone through phases where I've like lost my mind. I've gone through phases where we're like good. I am excited for tomorrow because tomorrow's Monday, still my favorite day. And we can kind of get back into the routine of um, schoolwork and life and all of that. I have been so incredibly tired and nauseous. It has been just crazy. Can you give me one minute? We'll go outside. Here's Tess if you could go outside. Uh, we've spent a lot of time outside, but today I'm feeling great, knock on wood, this morning. I would like to get my house put together um, maybe I'll do some like before and after video to inspire those that are like me and have spent a lot of time on the couch. I, what am I trying to say? I have attempted to vlog every single day. However, usually by like noon, I have felt absolutely just terrible, like awful. So I've spent a lot of time on the couch and that's kind of like where I've been spending the rest of my day. Cody has been taking care of these guys. I also cut Jet's hair. I'm not, I'm not a hair person, so I don't think I did too bad. Uh, what are we saying? Okay, so let's get you up to speed on where we are in life. I have been trying to get a school schedule. However, this past week, I've been sick in the morning also. So I've been kind of just playing it by ear. Like, Sienna's fine. She can get up and do her homework, no problem. You don't really need much guidance or help with that. However, Skylar and Jet need a little bit more guidance. So, Skylar has been kind of afternoon and then Jet has been evening. Is how tomorrow I'd like to get on a schedule where we wake up, we have breakfast, we do our schoolwork, we carry on through the day. But in order to do that, we've got to get all of our eggs in our basket, all of our T's crossed off, and our I's dotted. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I have been just not with it. So, yeah. Anyway, so that's how this past week has gone. On Thursday, I went to the doctor confirmed the pregnancy and I'm due November the 3rd, which is funny because I'm exactly a month due after my brother and my sister mom. Exactly a month, they're due 10.30, I'm due 11.30, which is funny, so funny. God has a plan. We weren't on the same plan, but God has a plan. So now we're gonna follow his plan. And yeah, I'm excited to have a little baby forget what it's like. My favorite part is being in the hospital when everybody takes care of you. They pump you with meds. You can sit there and watch TLC all day. That's my favorite part. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. But uh, yeah. we're just going to try to knock this day out and, uh, and get it going. My next doctor's appointment's April 20th. And that is when they'll probably like Doppler me. I don't know if they'll give me an ultrasound or if they wait to do that until like week 20. I kind of forget. I've been out of the baby game for a long time. I forget what it's like. And I'm excited for that appointment. All right, we're gonna dominate Sunday before I start feeling sick. Yesterday I started feeling sick around like, like really sick around like two. So I want to get as much possibly done. I also bought an O Cedar Mop. I've seen people use those and some Thieves Cleaner. That comes on Tuesday. So I'm really excited to get that and transition into making our house smell natural because I can't do all the other scents at all. All right, let's do some before and after cleaning.
a little update. It is 528, multiple hours later. We're done cleaning. After I got done, give me one second, I got your garlic bread in the oven. Um, sorry for the background noise, we're watching. I'm not really sure what maybe. Something about Girl Scout troops. But I spent the entire rest of the evening laying down, or the evening, the day. So now we're here. My beloved mother has been cooking all day and she dropped us off dinner. I'm gonna turn you around and show you what she's been cooking up and what um, she brought us. But they just dropped it off and then went back to their house. But I'll show you quickly what it is. This is all of our plates, but we have Caesar salad with croutons, fettuccine alfredo, and then she made white lasagna, which I'm really excited. And then I have some Texas toast in the oven. Do you want to go ahead and sit down and eat it? Okay. It is now six o'clock. We are listening to President Trump talk on TV and kind of getting the scoop of the lowdown of what is going on because I still am not really sure. But I wanted to wrap up this vlog even though it's probably going to be a shorter one. I know I talked to you guys this morning. But there's just been, as long as you guys are okay with this, there's just huge chunks of my day that are missing. Because I'm laying down, I'm resting, I'm feeling pukey, all of that jazz that comes along with pregnancy. Like now, feel pukey. I do have every intention of tomorrow recording my day. Um, because I would like to wake up now that like my pantry and my fridge, Cody did that today while I was laying down. He cleaned, he took literally everything out and wiped it all down, which is such like a good help. But now that my house is kind of clean, I'm going to like set the coffee, do all of that to try to have a good productive Monday. But I have every intention of recording tomorrow, so fingers crossed that I do that. Yeah, and I think we're just going to get to bed early, probably like around 7.30 and wake up early and hopefully we can get back onto a somewhat schedule. I don't know if you guys have been feeling off, but I've been feeling really off. Uh, but I'd like to get on a week schedule where it kind of mimics school days. Um, but obviously like the structure is not really the same because we're not going to be, you know, teaching our kids for several hours. But I need something to make me feel a little bit more normal. I have found oh, that I am good up until like 1230 is when the nausea really, really, really hits me. And then at like two, I get really, really sleepy every single day. It's like clockwork, the same exact time. I've never experienced this with my other three pregnancies, with my other three kids. So this is definitely something new to me but I'm going through I'm also having a difficulty like I'm, I'm having sleeping issues like not being able to get comfortable I do remember that with those three but again it's been several years since I've been pregnant so I kind of forget what I remember being really uncomfortable at night so I think that's one of the things um, my girls work out with them Jet, I didn't. Jet was like a super breeze. Uh, he only craved healthy food and didn't gain much weight at all. Actually, a lot of people had no idea I was even pregnant. I just didn't look or feel like it. Whereas the other two, it was like pizza. And I feel like that's what this, this is a girl. I feel like this is mimicking my girl pregnancies. Except for the nausea. I just can't seem to get rid of it. But that's where I've been. So if you're wondering, Erica, where have your vlogs been? I just, like the one day I spent the entire day on the couch, my poor kids. I mean, they're self-sufficient. They take a little bit of direction. Like I always wake up and make them breakfast. Um, but like for lunch, they can make, you know, ramen noodles or uh, mac and cheese or like a hot dog. Um, so they're kind of good. But I've been trying to just get up and make food. But then tonight, I didn't have to because my mom brought us dinner, which is great. And we just used foam plates that you guys saw. So I threw those in the garbage and then just put the uh, utensils in the sink. But I wanted to say good night to you all. I miss you. I miss you guys. I really do. I miss daily vlogging. Uh, I have attempted. It's just 
like today, big chunks of day. But we're just gonna go ahead and put this on the internet so you guys know that I'm here. I'm just quarantining inside my house, not really doing much. We've been cleaning. I bought, oh, I bought a oh, cedar mop. I also ordered uh, Young Living. I ordered an orange essential oil and a lemon. The lemon came shattered and I let them know that it came shattered, but I haven't heard back yet. But I also bought the Thieves Cleaner. That comes on Tuesday and so does the mop. So I'm really excited to mop my floors with it. I've heard great things about that mop. If you have one, let me know if you love it or not. Um, yeah, but I'll see you guys uh, hopefully tomorrow. If I don't, just know I probably got sick and was on the couch all day long. All right, bye everybody.